and welcome to Review Vision, where today we're looking at Moldova's entry and they're sending Natalia Gordienko with sugar. But will this one go down like a sweet treat? <laughs> So to give a little bit of background first about uh, Moldova at Eurovision, it's again been kind of part of that post-Soviet uh, influx into the contest, but it only made its debut in 2005. Uh, it's had a fairly kind of mixed record on kind of qualifying for final. Uh, its best finish was in 2017 with Sunstroke Project and Hey Mama. She'll be back home till sunrise. Come on! Um, and that uh, song saw the return of Epic Sax Guy, who uh, first appeared back in 2011 and kind of became a bit of a meme. Um, and Moldova's kind of kept up that reputation for being a bit of a kind of meme uh, entry uh, in 2018 with Doridos and uh, My Lucky Day. <laughs> did quite well as well but uh this year they're sending natalia gordienko with sugar so let's have a little listen hey lover give me some sugar so guys what do we what do we think of that one uh jack i'll go to you first I absolutely love it. It's mad. It's fun. I, I just, as soon as I listened to it, I was like, yep, I'm there. I'm enjoying it. And it's exactly what Moldova does well. Like when you, in, when you were running through the, the previous entries that have all been quite successful, they've all got this sort of trumpet. They've all got a real bop element to it. And this is, they are absolutely playing into their strengths here in a way that the past two entries haven't. So in 2019, they had that stay song, which was like the three, crappy telenovela it was really bad and then her entry last year because she and Talia Gordienko was supposed to go in 2020 again I did not like that at all it's one of the few 2020 entries that I wasn't a fan of but then so when they announced she was coming back I was like oh, okay but then as with Belgium as with Greece this is the probably the glow up of the year because I really didn't like last year's one and this she's come back with one of the bops of the year and I think it's going to do some really good stuff in the final. It's got huge staging potential. It's fun. It's engaging. It's re. It's it's playful as well. It's got the same. If they go down the same route as Poland's 2014, where the song itself isn't overtly sexual, but you stage it very very provocatively, then I think they're targeting the exact same voter. And that Polish entry did very well. And I think this Polish this um, Moldovan entry could do very well as well. Um, last little thought though, the only, the, my main reservation, and this is, I hope they don't do this on the stage, is about the music video. And it is a little bit, it's, it's quite over-sexualized, but I mean, it's, it's playful, you could say. But the one thing, the only issue that I've got, and maybe I'm over-analyzing it, is at the very end, if you haven't seen in the music video, at the very end, when she's sort of trying to seduce this man, eventually she grabs him by the jaw and rips his jaw off, basically, and it turns out he's made a cake which is really, really bizarre, but that is sort of like a third, she wants the sugar and he's made of sugar and so she wants a bit of him and it's filth. But when you look at what the cake is made of, it's a rainbow cake. Now, I didn't mind it. The first time I watched it, I was like, okay, yeah, it's made of cake, it's obviously made of cake. But then I thought, why is it a rainbow? What does a rainbow mean? And obviously the rainbow is quite widely seen as the sort of the LGBT flag. And if you look at who is behind this producing it, you've got Philip Kirkorov, who is a huge star in Russian music. This has got a lot of Russia behind it. And we know quite famously how the Russian establishment feels about the LGBTQ plus community. So I hope, I really, really hope that that was not a veiled attempt at trying to normalize heterosexuality and making it look like she's reclaiming, reclaiming a gay man or a bisexual man or whatever 
into heterosexuality because she has managed to rip his jaw off and is now basically feasting on the LGBTQ plus community. That is perhaps an over analysis, but I, I really hope that's not the case. If it is, it, this plummets down my rankings because it's disgusting. But as a song, but away from the music video, this is a pretty good entry. So it's good, but I have my reservations. That's quite an interesting point, actually. And it hasn't, it hadn't really been something uh, that I kind of thought about as well. But I think also the fact is if they are including a kind of like a rainbow element, a lot of a lot of kind of countries, especially those from kind of Eastern Europe, will kind of use kind of LGBT kind of like symbols to kind of make themselves look quite progressive as well so it could almost be like almost the exact opposite of that as well in they're saying oh we have something rainbow we look how kind of like liberal we are um definitely i would agree with that absolutely um but i think it's the fact that she then eats it that sits a bit wrong so um, perhaps i am being overly critical and perhaps as you say it is like a this is a liberal it's welcoming and that would be a great thing but the fact that she then sits and eats it it doesn't sit quite right with me so I hope that's not the case but that was my perhaps over analysis of it I was a little bit concerned yeah James what are your thoughts on uh, on model with entry um I, I actually uh, agree a lot with what Jackson that's a very interesting point I mean when I looked at it it was very much more sort of skimming the surface compared to that I mean you know I think Moldova are a mean machine, aren't they? they? They're pumping these things out quite a lot. And um, and at first I thought it was a bit like, a bit sort of Kylie Minogue meets Dolly Parton in the music video. You get that sort of vibe, um, only with added sugar thrown in because, you know, why not? Everyone likes a bit of sugar now and again. Um, I thought it was very Eurovision. Um, and I thought there were some really pretty fab moves, 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 <laughs> not moves. <laughs> I'll do that again. There are some fabulous moves in there, um, you know, and I think some that are a little bit fun. And then you have that bit in the middle, which reminds me of the Love Island theme, very UK specific thing, I know, to our international viewers. But you've got that sort of doom, 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 that type of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think definitely the song got better as it went on. Um, and I quite liked it. It was just catchy. I mean, on, on the outside of it, I just really liked it. And I think it translated well. When I saw her performing on stage, I liked that too. Um, I think the backing dancers were were really good and it just had a good feel about it. It was quite uplifting. And I think as well, something that's key for Eurovision, it's memorable. I think it's one of those songs that you will remember and it'll stand out amongst the rest of them, which is really good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think it has got that kind of real fun element because a lot of the songs uh, this year, you can see kind of how much like production has gone into it and this you know it's a bit more kind of cheeky there's clearly kind of a lot of space for innuendos and to kind of go down that almost like Poland 2014 uh, route with it which I think kind of will really add some add some fun and some spice uh, to the contest and I actually think the song itself is like it's quite actually quite good um for me <laughs> I did see uh, a comment on the YouTube uh, video that was saying oh the budget for this video is higher than the entire Moldovan government. Uh, so I think they are kind of putting quite a bit of almost like production uh, into, into this, uh, which I think will be quite interesting to see um, because Moldova's kind of staging bar kind of 2018, they don't seem to actually kind of put that much uh, into it. You know, in 2017, they were relying on kind of epic sax guy and some kind of backing dancers that were in wedding dresses. So I think what they do with it this year will be quite kind of interesting, interesting to see and see whether they put more kind of production uh, behind it. But yeah, overall, I'm a fan of this, add some fun, uh, yeah. So Moldova is performing at seventh in the second semi-final. It's going just after Poland and just before, who is it, and just before Iceland. Um, so it's kind of placed in an all right position, but uh, how do we think it's going to do, Jack or Will Jupiter? Well, I have sort of, uh, given my reservations, I'm not going to mention that again because I'm judging it based on the song, not the music video. It's my number seven of the year because I think it's really fun, it's engaging, it's what Moldova does best, and it's exactly the type of thing that they should be sending. And Eurovision is lesser without this sort of fun. And I, I do genuinely really enjoy it. 
I think it's got really strong potential here to do great things. If 2018, My Lucky Day, if that can make the top 10 with a song that's a lot worse than this, that was lifted by really good staging, then you know the sky is almost the limit with this. It's not a winner. It's not top five, but I think sixth to tenth is probably the best that they can hope for with it. Um, actually, just really quickly to pick up on two points that you made. You mentioned, Emily, that the, the 2018 was really high production. They only, it, it was incredible staging, but I think it only cost like 5,000 euros or something. So it was really, it was really effective staging, but done on the cheap. And James, when you said the memes thing, like Moldova is the memes machine, like, I, I don't know if you've seen the, um, video that someone's edited Natalia dancing to all the different songs and she dances to everything and the the, the dance routine works to every single song yeah so while it is in that sense you could say it's a bit generic it is also as you say it's like a meme machine it is destined for for me mean us uh, and I think that will count in its favor so I think this is an absolute qualifier and it will do great things in the final no doubt and um, James where would you put it well, to be honest, I thought I was being generous with my ranking for it, but I mean, I, I feel <laughs> I feel quite stoogy now compared to Jack. I put it as my number 18. Um, I mean, I thought I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good, but there was just that something about it that I thought, well, I don't think this warrants going further up. Um, I think, you know, very much a pure, pure Eurovision, you could say to a certain degree, it's got everything you'd want with it. I think, and the staging, I think, could be really fabulous. And I think it could be quite good for them. Um, as Jack said, whether or not it's to win it, I doubt it. Um, but I think it's a valiant effort, and I think it's um, definitely in with a chance, I think, of, of, of getting quite high at the leaderboard. Yeah, yeah, I'd kind of agree. I think it definitely should make it, make it through to the final, all right. It's kind of fun enough. It stands out uh, enough in that semi-final. For me, i put it at number 17 and I don't know whether to mention it because I think Jack will just fly off the handle but somehow I've ranked it lower than Estonia <laughs> <laughs> what I know I feel like that has been an error in judgment uh, and I probably would uh, rethink that if I, was to do it, if I was to do it again um it was a crime against eardrums this is <laughs> actually fun but okay it's your opinion it matters yeah so, yeah, I think it is fun. I think it definitely kind of adds to uh, the competition this year. Um, but overall, that gives uh, Moldova a score of 42. So we're in the kind of the upper band uh, of our rankings. So can't complain uh, too much. But uh, if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, feel free to uh, give us a comment, a like and uh, a subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell notification to get notified when we upload new content. Uh, but that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.